LG Chem plans to invest big. Domino's electric way to get your pizza. Workers at the largest U.S. rail labor union vote against a contract and more. Good morning, everyone. I'm Laura Harris. Welcome to First Shift. Coming up, more on those headlines for you. But first, our lead story. LG Chem is ramping up production to meet rising demand for U.S. electric vehicle components. And now the company is set to invest $3.2 billion to build a battery cathode plant in Clarksville, Tennessee. LG Chem is expected to supply cathode materials to Altium Cells, a battery joint venture between General Motors and LG Chem subsidiary LG Energy Solution. Mass production at the factory is set to start in the second half of 2025. Officials say the plant will create more than 850 jobs. Get ready for an electric way to deliver pizzas. Domino's launches a fleet of Chevy Bolt EVs for pizza delivery. Nearly 800 electric vehicles will be part of the fleet. Executives say this offers advantages for the company that include ample battery life, zero tailpipe emissions, advanced safety features, and lower average maintenance costs. In a statement, Domino says they've committed to net zero carbon emissions by 2050. Workers at the largest U.S. rail labor union vote against a tentative contract deal. And now a strike might be on the horizon. If a strike were to happen, this could cause significant damage to the U.S. economy and strand vital shipments of food, automobiles, and fuel. A Northeastern University professor says there's a lot of anger about paid sick leave among membership. Railroads have slashed labor and other costs to bolster profits and have not added sick time flexibility. And now railroads are under pressure to wrap up talks. You can read more on these stories in our newsletter, The Daily. To subscribe, go to the More section on our website and click Newsletters on the left side of the screen. Lithium Motors buy-sell activities continue with the purchase of a Stellantis dealership and the sale of an Acura store. Lithia bought Meter Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Fort Worth. The Texas acquisition is Lithia's first franchised automotive dealership purchase since it re-entered Wisconsin in September, with the acquisition of five dealerships from Wild Automotive Group. Amazon emerged as a potential savior for Argo AI. But now, the startup has folded, partly due to the sputtering economy and ongoing concerns about control and faith in fully autonomous driving. The online retailer was prepared to invest several hundred million dollars. Amazon planned to use Argo's self-driving technology to automate some of the electric delivery vans. Amazon's pullout and Argo's sudden demise underscores the start and stop progress toward cars and trucks that will drive themselves. That's all we have today for First Shift. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at first underscore shift and online at autonews.com for updates from our reporters all day, every day. I'm Laura Harris. Have a great day, and I'll see you all next time.